Hey everyone, welcome back to another Sports and Spirituality blog. It's your girl, Anita Flying High here. So this is a little late, uh, but this is the USA versus Uzbekistan decode. This is the second leg that they happen to play um, on April April 12th. All right, so another nine goals put past Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Man, tough match for them. But... um. Yeah, so USA, as you know, is ranked number one, and uh, Uzbekistan is ranked number 48. And so, like I was saying uh, in the other live, the first time I watched the match, I don't mind USA or any team that's in the top 50 playing each a team that's in the top 50. I think that makes sense. I feel like they should cut it up into 50 sections. And if uh, Uzbekistan doesn't start to show some improvement, they'll lose their top 50 place and they'll fall below 50. And I feel like for teams to continue to elevate their game, they need to be playing teams that are close, more similarly ranked, so they can get a feel and we can get a feel what is actually happening. Um, if we see matches like this, um, we don't really get uh, the, the true essence of the games. It's just a, it's just a, um, it's just fun. It's just, it's not, it's not entertainment. It's, it, for, I mean, I would like to see a competitive, a competitive match. But anyways, let's get into it. Okay, so uh, Camilla. Uh, she had the first minute on goal. First minute on goal equals 88. Her first and last name, Camilla Zapova, equals 88. And that was pretty funny. <laughs> USA women equals 30. On goal equals 30. So as you see, Catalina, she scored in the 12th minute. And I guess it was the 47th minute. The 12th minute. So Catalina, 31. 12th equals 31, same sign for full reduction. This is the rules to numerology in order. Mao was the next goal scorer. She scored in the 14th minute. USA equals 14. But Mao Pew, Hamalari Pew equals 58. April 12th was the day of the match. It had a 58 date numerology. As you see, Mao's birthday is April 29th. From her birthday to the Pope's birthday is a span of 233 days. 233 is the 51st prime. 14 equals um, 51 as well. Like I said, she scored in the 50. And like I said, she scored in the 14th minute. <clears throat> Once again, April 12th left 263 days left in a year. And 263 is the 56th prime. Pew equals 56. And don't forget, Society of Jesus equals 56. So this day had a lot of 56. Um, a lot, some of the players, well, mo most of the players have 56 in their names. So not all of them, but, but most of them. So Rose Lavelle, she was the next goal scorer. Rose Lavelle equals 51. She scored in the 25th minute. 25th equals 51. Also, she scored in the 27th minute. 27th equals 56, back to the 56. Being, back to uh, April 12th, um, being the 263 day of the, being 263 day of the year, and 263 is the 56th prime. Like I was saying again. From um, Rose's birthday, as you see, from Rose's birthday to the Pope's birthday is a span of three, uh, is a span of seven months and three days. Um, 73 is the 21st prime. Rose equals 21. Jesuit equals 21. Don't forget. <clears throat> Once again, just, just another um, so you can see the goals. So Macario scored, I'm um, guessing it was a 47, 47 minute. 47 equals 49. April 12th had 49 date numerology. That was Macario's second goal. So Trinity Robin, uh, she scored. Goal, uh, um, goal equals uh, goal equals 19 as well. Don't forget, this was her first international goal. And also April 20th, I mean, also um, the date of the match had 20 date numerology. Just like her date of birth, 20. Her, she was born on the, the 20th of May. But anyways, from her birthday to the Pope's birthday was 211 days. The... 211 is the 47th prime. Her first name, Trinity, is 47. In reverse for reduction, 
Once again, she scored in the 71st minute. The Society of Jesus and Catholic both equal 71. But like I said, she scored in the 71st minute equals 56. So we had a lot of 56. Don't forget Society of Jesus, 56. So actually, also, uh, Mitch Perch, Miss Perch equals 56, but on ESPN, that's how they had her name. So her name equals 56 as well, but I didn't put this in, a, in this one, but it, it does equal 56. I was like, oh shit. Um, let me see where's this at. Uh, but I exit out of that. Anyways, so Margaret Perch, she was the next goal scorer. She scored in the 84th minute. Jesuit and the, and the Jesuit order both equal 84. Okay, so she scored in the 84th minute, equals 72. Purse, her last name equals 72 as well. From Purse's birthday to the Pope's birthday is a span of 91 days. 91 days is the 13th triangular number. April 12th had 13 date numerology. And just like the last match, Ashley Sanchez ends up scoring the 90th minute goal, just like the last decode, right? So from her birthday, I'm sorry, from the Pope's birthday to Ashley Sanchez's birthday is 90 days, coincidentally. And of course, the match ended 9-0, right? Also, when it comes to number one, USA being playing number 48. So we're going to put those together, 148. Remember, we talked about the deep state last decode with USA and Uzbekistan. So 148 is, of course, as you know, the deep state is a type of government made up of potentially secret and unauthorized networks of power operating independently of a state politics of a state's political leadership in pursuit of their own agendas and goals in popular usage the term carries overwhelmingly negative connotations because all of this is negative it's satanic rituals they do rituals everything we do with our bodies is a ritual and spell but they do rituals to brainwash, which equals 148 as well, to brainwash the collective, us as people. And uh, we will continue to prove that every single day, um, anytime I decode any of these matches, every, every time. It will be consistent, because this is the reality of it. And that's just the truth. But anyways, uh, the Bavarian, Bar Bavarian equals 148 as well. <clears throat> so it's the Illuminati, but as you say, historically the name refers. The, historically, the name re usually refers to, but the but it changed this name because you like they like to change the names to keep you lost in the sauce because they change name. It all means the same shit though, but they like to change the names to hide the truth in different ways. So you know they're tricky. You know what I'm saying? They're tricky. You know they're, little, they're tricky, but. Uh, we, we see y'all. We see y'all, shadow government. You know, that's why we call them shadow government. Man, we see y'all, niggas. We don't care what kind of how many names y'all got. <laughs> uh, so, like I said, the Illuminati. The Illuminati is given uh, is a name given to several groups. Remember, several groups. There's so many names under this Illuminati. But historically, refer, historically the name usually refers to the Bavarian Illuminati. An Enlightenment era secret society founded in founded on may 1st 1776 in germany bavaria germany by adam weishaupt and he adam weishaupt is also a former jesuit as you see right here former jesuit so it's not coincidental so old boy was like you know i'm gonna leave this secret society i'm gonna go create my own secret society these niggas is just 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 this is what these niggas do this is what these niggas do Ugh. If you don't know who that cat is, he looks pretty familiar, huh? I don't really have time to say his name, but he's um, he's being presented, of course, to rock us to sleep and to mislead the masses. And if you don't have the eyes to see, you will be misled and led to the slaughterhouse. Um, like most of us, um, you know, we didn't know. We, we didn't know. Unless, unless you knew, you knew. But you, I didn't know three years ago. Now I know, thankfully. But like I said, um, Illuminati... Uh, it means, you know, enlightened. Where I'm not, I'm not, you know how they use the word woke. I'm not woke. I'm enlightened. Because, you know, they like to play with words. Remember, words are spells as well. So you got to make sure you, you know, <clears throat> use the right words. But it may, everything is, you know, here. Society of Jesus. 
So, uh, yeah, that was the ritual, man. That was, you know, pretty clear. But, uh... Um... Yeah, so, like, this match, you know what I'm saying? I thought this was hilarious right here. First minute on goal, 88, and her name equals 88. Bro, that was hilarious when I saw that. I was like, what? Because I didn't have it in the in the first. I didn't have it. I was like, man, I need to figure out what, what, why? And I was like, all right, let me just type this in. And it's hilarious, bro. But, yeah, USA. And, you know, if you count everyone in the picture, it's nine players. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think, I don't, I think. I'm trying to figure out. I think that's Andy Sullivan. That's behind uh, number two. I'm, I don't really recognize number two. I'm not too sure who that is. I'm not, yeah, I'm not too sure who number two is. She's a new player. I don't know. But anyways. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Yeah, so uh, that was the decode. Like I said, uh, pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, once again, thank you all for tuning in to another Sports and Spirituality blog. What's your girl need a flying high? Don't forget to check out my CBD shop and uh, use my code on the checkout, uh, Anita CBD. If you're on the blog, go to the cannabis section, click on the item, you'll be redirected. If you're on Instagram or um, YouTube, it's in my link tree in my in my link tree and also on YouTube in my description. Okay. Oh oh. my bad y'all there it is yeah so it's also on my link tree in the description so but anyways thank y'all for tuning in to another uh sports and spirituality block it's your girl needle flying high don't forget to always think for yourself i'm flying out of this third dimensional reality and i'll see you on the next one okay this